Hi, Sirius High School World History students. This is Miss Ray, Sirius High School World History teacher and part-time amateur archaeologist. Today I'm going to show you three artifacts and we're going to examine them as closely as possible without you actually being here to touch and see and smell them. And you're going to try to decide what are two possible uses for that artifact. You're going to write it down on a piece of paper and then at the end of the video I'll come back and tell you what those artifacts actually were used for. Are you ready? Here comes artifact number one. Get your paper out. Get yourself ready for two possible uses for this artifact. Artifact number one looks like this. This is wooden. This is wooden. This is wooden. The rest of this is really heavy. And it actually moves like this. I wonder what this could have been used for. You write down two possible uses for this artifact, artifact number one. And I'm going to come back with artifact number two. Well, you're writing down two possible uses for artifact number one. Artifact number two looks like this. These metal spikes or tines are very sharp. I think you can see. What do you think this could be used for? Hmm, think like an archeologist. Where could this have been used or what could it have been used for? Write down two possible uses and I'll be back with artifact number three. Artifact number three looks like this. The bottom of artifact number three, you can see here. There's the top. If you're an archeologist, you're thinking, hmm. Oh, look at this. The top of it unscrews. What could you have used or what could have been the possible use for this artifact? Artifact number three. Write down two possible uses and I'm going to come back with artifact number one to show you and tell you what it was actually used for. You may have used the newer version of this, if you've helped your parents or grandparents with a construction project, or if you've ever helped construct homecoming floats, we use something called a Makita drill, either an electrical drill or a battery pack uh, powered Makita drill. This is an old fashioned hand drill. You would put a bit in this end and you would use it like this. I don't have a bit in the end of it because that might be a dead giveaway for what this artifact actually is. So artifact number one is a hand drill. Coming back with artifact number two. Artifact number two is not a hair accessory or tool. It was used in the kitchen. Hmm. If you've ever had angel food cake, angel food cake is very spongy. And if you use a traditional knife, it depresses or squishes down the angel food cake. So this is an angel food cake slicer. You would put it in the cake and slice it like this so that your angel food cake didn't get squished. Artifact number two is an angel food cake slicer. Coming back with artifact number three. Artifact number three would be used if you were boating or fishing or camping. It's really important to have a fire when you're doing all of those things and if your matches get wet, that's a problem. So if you see on the bottom here of artifact number three, it says ever dry. This was a place to keep your wooden strike anywhere matches. And in fact, this rough place on the wooden match holder would have been where you could strike your matches to start a fire. So artifact number three would have been a wooden match holder. How'd you do? Were you close on any of them? We're gonna discuss that at our next class meeting.